lesson will focus on factoring using the sum or difference of cubes formulas. So unlike squares, we can factor both sum and difference of cubes, and we use these formulas in order to help us. Uh, so first of all, let's start with one minus 64y cubed. So our objective is to compare it with a cubed minus b cubed. This is done by taking the cube root of each term. So it might help you to start by actually writing um, our binomial in this way. So the cube root of one is one. The cube root of 64y cubed is 4y. And so what do we have? We now know that our value of a is one and our value of b is 4y. And we simply substitute into this right hand side. So we'll have a binomial and then a trinomial. So the binomial is a minus b. So that means it's one minus four y. And then we're gonna set up this trinomial. Notice that both of the signs here are positive, okay? So we should have in this position a squared. So that means one squared. In the middle spot, we should have a times b. That's what a, b, uh, represents a multiplied by b, so one multiplied by four y. And in this last spot, we should have the square of b. When you square b, you have to square the number four and you also have to square y. So this becomes 16 y squared, just like that. Okay, we'll try the next one. So again, we're going to try to first write it this way so that we can immediately see what our a and b um, are. So we start again, you're gonna take the cube root of 27 and the cube root of 27 is three. You also have to take the cube root of x to the power of nine. The cube root of x to the power of nine is x cubed. Um, so you can check this. You see, you have now three cubed, which is 27. And the uh, laws of exponents would suggest here that when you cube x cubed, these exponents multiply. So we have three times three, which is nine. Now the cube root is five twelve. Uh, the cube root of five twelve is eight. You might know that from uh, studying the octal number system. But I'll show you. If you ever aren't sure, right? You can use the cube root function here on your calculator in this way. So shift, and then you hit the button, and then five twelve. Okay, and there's the eight. So here we put eight, and so what does that mean? A is 3x cubed and b is 8 and we follow the formula with the plus sign okay so we'll have a binomial and then a trinomial the binomial is a plus b so 3x cubed plus 8 for the trinomial we will have a minus sign and then a plus sign so sometimes it's nice to just get those in there first and now all we have to do first have a squared. So we have to square 3x cubed. So square the three and you get nine. When you square x cubed, x cubed all squared is x to the power of six. In the middle, we multiply a and b. So multiplication of these terms gives me 24x cubed. And the last term should be b squared. Eight squared is 64. And now that one is fully factored. I should point out that whenever you use these uh, formulas, the trinomial that results here is always prime. 
So this trinomial will not be factorable. Once we've used the formula, this is not factorable. This is not factorable. Okay, let's continue. Here's another example. So I'm going to try to set it up for the sum of cubes. This means I have to take the cube root of each term. So the cube root of 64 is 4. The cube root of x to the 12 is x to the 4. You see, we have to have 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, for the exponents, 4 cubed is 64 for the num numeric part. And therefore, um, the cube root of y to the 15 is y to the 5. Okay, so the, the exponents, you can see, are being divided by 3. And so now we have A is the inside of the first bracket. B is the inside of the second bracket. And then we're going to have binomial, trinomial. We follow the formula with the plus sign, right? Sum of cubes. So this will be plus, this will be minus, and this will be plus. So in this one, we need A here and B here. Right here, we need A squared. So square the 4 and get 16. Square x to the 4 to get x to the 8. This is supposed to be A times B. So we multiply here and just get 4x to the 4y to the 5. Lastly, b squared, and when you square y to the 5, you get y to the 10. Okay, so when you square, the exponents are doubled. Okay, so this one looks like it, it might be a sum of two perfect cubes. In particular, the exponents are divisible by 3. Uh, we've got a plus sign here, but the trouble is, look, the cube root of 12, of course, is a mess. And the cube root of 1500 is also a mess, okay? So these numbers are not perfect cubes. So we have to remember in this problem, the rule for factoring is to always remove the greatest common factor first. In fact, 1500 is divisible by 12. So that means we should take 12 out of both terms and also we can remove x cubed from both terms. So we'll start like that. When you divide this first term by 12x cubed, you will have one. When you divide the second term by 12x cubed, you will have 125y cubed. Okay, and before you continue, check that. If you were going to open this up using multiplication, you should get back the previous line. Okay, now take a look at these terms. One is considered a perfect square. It's also considered a perfect cube. The exponent is divisible by three and 125 is the cube of five. So we have the sum of two perfect cubes now. And to confirm that, it's nice to start with this setup. So here we have one, the cube root of one is one. Here we have 125y cubed. So what should be in the brackets? Well, the cube root of 125 is five. The cube root of y cubed is y. So after 12x cubed, we can use the sum of cubes formula, which means we'll have a binomial there and then a trinomial here. And to fill this in, we're gonna use a is one and b is five y. The formula for sum of cubes has a plus sign here, here minus, here plus. So I need a plus b, so 1 plus 5y. I need a squared, 1 squared is 1. Here we should have a times b, so 1 times 5y. 
and in this last spot, the square of B. Square five and square Y to get 25 Y squared. Okay, so hopefully this is um, making sense to you and you're doing okay with it. I think I have one more here. Yeah, got one more here to go over with you. Okay, so take a look at this. And like the previous example, we have to follow the rule which says, remove the greatest common factor first. And this one, you can see there's certainly one X common. What about for these numbers, 24 and 375? What are they both divisible by? Well, 24 is divisible by two, but this number is odd, so it is not divisible by two. But 24 is also divisible by 3. Is 375 divisible by 3? Yes. Okay? So we can take 3x out to begin with. So we divide this term by 3x and we get 8x to the 6 plus sign. When we divide this term by 3x, we get the number 125. And it's pretty clear there are no other common factors for 8 and 125. The only thing 8 is divisible by is 2, other than uh, 1 and 8, of course. And this can't be divided by 2. So we're done with the greatest common factor. This is now uh, a sum of two perfect squares. It, it seems when I'm looking over this, I did mostly... Um, Sorry, sum of two perfect cubes. I think I just said that wrong. It seems when I did these examples, I did um, all uh, sums except for the first one. So maybe I'm gonna change this one to a difference, okay? Let's just put a subtraction here. It's really not a big deal, but might as well. So I don't have a one-sided lesson. Okay, so now um, let's see if we can write this as a difference, a difference of two perfect cubes. So I like the changing of the bracket here. Okay, so what's the cube root of eight? It's two, two cubed is eight. So the cube root of eight is two. And what about the cube root of x to the 6? Well, you divide the exponent by 3, and you get x squared. Okay, check it. 2 cubed is 8. And here, for the exponent on x, you multiply 2 by 3 to get 6. And the cube root of 125 uh, is 5. So we have 3x. We will now have a binomial followed by a trinomial. And since we're doing a difference of two perfect cubes, we set up our signs this way. So a minus will be here, and in here, two addition signs. Okay, so according to the formula, this... So first of all, first of all, A is 2x squared, and B is 5. According to the formula, this first bracket is a minus b. So it is 2x squared minus 5. The second bracket should start with a squared. You must square the numeric part and the power. So 2 squared is 4. x squared, all squared, is x to the 4. Multiply a and b. Multiply. So you get 10x squared. And finally, we have to square b. So b squared is 25. And now we're all done. Okay, so that's how you use uh, the sum and difference of cubes formulas to uh, factor certain binomials. And uh, please practice this. You'll find some nice questions uh, in the textbook. Thanks. Have a good day.